Ladies and gentlemen, after an amazing night of New Japan Pro Wrestling, we've come to the match you've all been waiting for. To everybody here in attendance tonight in Daytona Beach, Florida, and to everybody watching on Twitch Live right now, this main event is about to explode! This tag team match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, with a combined weight of 428 pounds, they are Tetsuya Naito and Hiromu Takahashi. They are Los Ingobernables de Japón! Absolute bone chilling atmosphere here at the Ocean Center. Everyone on their feet. And I cannot believe what we are about to witness in our main event the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, Hiromo Takahashi. Along with Daryl and Trophy Chong. Of course, a winner of the best of the Super Juniors 2018. He's had an amazing year. And the man himself, Tetsuya Naito. Again, I just cannot believe, guys, that we are about to call this match. Oh, man. I mean, this is the thing, right, is I feel like there's, uh, there's fantastic wrestlers all over the world, especially in New Japan Pro Wrestling. But I feel like no one has really captured the hearts of the Western audience specifically like these four individuals we have in the main event. That's all right. four of them, Hiromu Takahashi, an incredibly popular wrestler, a lot to do with Daryl and his amazing in-ring ability. Naito, ever since the switch to Los Angobernables, has been an incredible fan favorite both in Japan and in America and all over the world. And then on the other side, the Golden Lovers, I mean, one more needs to be said. I'm just hoping you guys can just do a professional job uh, and stop being such a pair of marks. No, um, definitely not. Uh, you know what? Uh, I only live once, so I'm going to go for it. Yes. Okay? And uh, this, I think this is an opportunity for everyone here to just mark the hell out. <laughs> My man Hiromu brought belts on and trophies on, bro. Oh, yes. Dapping up all the Daryls. This is going to be such an exquisite test of skill, ability, fortitude from these four competitors. And it all starts with Tetsuya Naito and Hiromu Takahashi. I'm gonna get some assistance into the ring, yes please. Okay. They're trying. It's I, actually I, making Like Anola, you gotta put some back into it, man. That's how I know the cameraman doesn't watch the product. I don't know if he, he surely can't get, he, he can can't fit get that. in. Nah. <laughs> I mean, I can even do that. My man I'm, is an absolute unit. He definitely doesn't watch the products. Just <laughs> let him crawl in. <laughs> I mean, at some point you have to ask, like, what happened? You know, what happened? Thought you had, oh, thought you had a back. Thought you had his back. So you have to compose, be tranquilo about it. Well, if there's one guy who embodies the essence of the of tranquilo, it is definitely Tetsuya Naito. But this is just one half, because it's now time to bring out their opponents. Let's not forget about their opponents. With the combined weight of 412 pounds, they are Kenny Omega. They are Kota Ibushi. They are the Golden Lovers!
the IWGP Heavyweight Champion, Kenny Omega, alongside Kota Ibushi. And listen, as a guy who had the fortunate, you know, uh, I guess fortitude to call himself Golden Boy, I think I have to say I'm a fan of the Golden Lovers. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. Really? I would never have guessed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Boy, the Golden Lovers, of course, including the Golden Star, Kota Ibushi, hey, along. Man. Gold's but, a beautiful color. Yeah, I love gold myself, as does Kenny Omega, of course, finally capturing that illustrious IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Listen, man, I love gold so much that I choose to stay at gold rank in Street oh, Fighter. Oh, okay, yeah. I feel that. That's, I choose to stay gold rank in Overwatch, so I guess it's a choice. kind of, you know, we're just kind of trying to keep the brand consistent, you know what I mean, baby? That's Dra just what it's about. <laughs> Dragon Ball don't got gold. I'm a pink square, though. <laughs> shout out shout outs to my pink squares out there. Oh, man. But this event would not be possible without Kenny Omega believing in the fighting game community, believing in you guys and what you guys are able to do. I mean, I'm just a, a, a guy looking from the outside in. And, and honestly, what they've been able to accomplish tonight, unprecedented. And you reminded me of something I wanted to bring up earlier. Before Street Fighter V, before Bullet Club, before New Japan in general for Kenny Omega, this man was putting up videos of him playing Street Fighter IV online, just on his YouTube. Nothing, you know, no specific content along with it, just straight yep. up his matches. My man has been grinding, loving games for as long as he's lived. Video games have definitely influenced Kenny Omega. Yeah, to say the least, right? It, One Winged Angel, there's a, it goes on and Kenny on. Kenny Omega Man X. Why I mean, bum. Yeah. <laughs> the list goes on and on, yeah. honestly. Great pretty much rap. every pretty much every shirt is some type of reference to a video game. Ooh. Comparing championships. Very fair. Both uh, just... Size does matter. Yeah, but you know what, though? At the end of the day, astounding champions on in, that, in this squared circle. Exactly. Kenny Omega, the IWGP heavyweight champion. Hiromo Takahashi, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Maybe uh, we compare titles? Yeah, and you can see Naito eyeing the belt. He is a former IWGP Heavyweight Champion himself, and you know he wants that back, even despite his current feud with Chris Jericho. Lots of bad blood there, but for now, though, Naito's going to have to focus on the task at hand. The That's Golden an important Lovers. thing to mention. You mentioned that Jericho, of course, Kenny got the job done in the dome, in the main event. We all know what the main event of Wrestle Kingdom was. It was Alpha versus Omega, and Kenny got the job done. Naito losing his IC title to Jericho. Once again, Kenny, the IWGP champion, got the job done against Okada. Meanwhile, at Wrestle Kingdom, Naito couldn't get it over the line either. And I think that definitely comes down to attitude. That tranquilo attitude. Kenny's in the gym every day. You've seen his training montages. Mm -hmm. He works incredibly hard. Stepped up from Super Juniors, the junior heavyweight division. And now he is, without a doubt, the best bout machine, the greatest professional wrestler in the world. And as he said himself, that's not natural ability. That's hard work. Mm -hmm. That's right. The opposite of that, Naito. He just wants to coast through. Uh, sure, it gets him over with the fans, sells shirts, but where's his belt? And I like that you bring that up, uh, the opposite when it comes to Naito, right? Because even before he was a part of Los and Gobernadores, he was the stardust genius. He was always picked to be one of the finest professional wrestlers in the business. He just has the natural talent. He for had it handed to him. Yeah. You know, fast tracked. Never really had to work <laughs> for it. I will say this much, though. Kenny Omega talking about hard work, talking about dedication, definitely embodies what it means to be here at CEO, an event that literally was called Community Effort Orlando. Mm -hmm. All the hard work and dedication that everyone put toward organizing this fighting game tournament for the FGC. And now look where we are, watching four of the greatest professional wrestlers in the planet. I want to join in this chant. I agree. Go this is awesome. I went to Wrestle Kingdom 11 on my own and watched Kenny Okada in the main event. The greatest match I'd ever seen in person. It had a profound effect on my life. And we have the honor now of calling 
Kenny Omega in the ring right here at CEO. It's unreal. I remember watching that matchup. I was, uh, as a matter of fact, I was at another event, desperately trying to go to Wrestle Kingdom, but I, you know, had to work duty call. But I stayed up so late to watch that matchup because of what it meant for professional wrestling fans all over the world. But also, I mean, you know, we're bigging up Kenny Omega. We're bigging up Kota Ibushi. But we do have to continue to talk about Hiromo Takahashi and his accomplishments. I mean, this man has won the best of the Super Juniors 2018, mm -hmm. the current IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. And also, I mean, Daryl's just a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think right now the, the Junior Heavyweight Division is the strongest it's ever been. The four-way Wrestle Kingdom was incredible, revolutionized uh, the game. They've got some, some wrestlers in that division that are really making it the standout division in the world for the lightweights, the smaller men. Incredible yeah. variety of styles. And, of course, the ticking time bomb once again holding the belt. Yeah, the former Kama Itachi in CMLL, right? He went yeah. to wars with Dragon Lee, both hair and mass matches. He lost his mass in Mexico. I believe he lost his hair at some point as well, but he has bounced back from that excursion and has become probably the top oh. junior wrestler in the division. Kota Ibushi pointing at Naito. Of course, it's important to mention with the G1 coming up that all three heavyweights in this match are all in the same block. We will see them go head to head, of course, culminating in Kenny versus Ibushi on the final night uh, of the G1. Is this going to happen? Are we getting a third man in this matchup? I think this right. is happening. Is Daryl the third man? Now, we know Abushi has put on classics with inanimate objects before. <laughs> yes, and I will say this the is going to be the greatest challenge of Kota Abushi's career. The crowd. Oh, Daryl wow. making the first move. Kota, you have to be careful. You, can't, you have to be careful. At any point, Daryl can just strike, strike fear this into is, the eyes of any competitor. This is taking, all possible. He's taking that wrestling, he's offering him his back. Naito trying to get Daryl to get up, but he doesn't understand. It's all possum here. Crowd on Daryl's side. Kota Ibushi. He's got to approach this. Oh, oh wait a minute. Ta roll up. Takahashi tried to go in for the sneak. There was no way Takahashi was going to let him touch Daryl. But he's still holding him. He's going for it. Is he going to use Daryl again? Or maybe he's just uh, the, the power and the strength of Daryl is all he needs in this situation. Kota Ibushi, though, trying to make the kick happen, but no, no, no. Incredible athleticism of Kota Ibushi. It's easy to almost overlook him, which is an incredible thing to say, but these four men in the ring are absolutely the pinnacle. Kota Ibushi, though. Five men if you count Daryl. Well, six if you can count the, the cat, official, of course. Um, <laughs> I don't know if about all that. But. <laughs> Whilst Coach Rabushi doesn't have the same accolades that these, these men have, he is a crazy genius when it comes to professional wrestling. He is one of those guys that brings the art of professional wrestling to the forefront. I think we're going to get Kenny Naito. Yes, we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's about to go down. And what's so interesting to me about this matchup is usually the mind games, it's in the corner of Los Angeles and Andres de Japón, right? But Kenny and Obushi got to be riding high. Kenny, of course, winning the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, and they're reuniting as the Golden Lovers. They got to be feeling good. It's really well, interesting this place is just on fire, watching, by the way. It's really interesting watching Naito. Normally, he'd be kind of looking at the opponent. He, yeah. Avoiding, going, getting back out. You, you see him tag out straight away. Goading. Tranquilo, tranquilo. That's all. You know, that's he's a little trying bit to say. different now. This, this, this rivalry that's building with him and Kenny knows it's a little bit different. And I, I really feel like Wilson Gobernables has a lot on their mind right now, right? When it comes to Naito getting prepared for G1 as well as losing the belt to Chris Jericho, Tagahashi having to prepare for Dragon Lee at G1 Climax. I give the mental advantage definitely to the Golden Lovers in this set. And also the crowd just. Again, you, the energy. You just have to feed off of it here. Sonata and Evil, of course, losing the tag belts. Yeah, to the Young Bucks, the elite members. They had a terrible night at um, Dominion. Trying to build back from that. Naito sends Omega to the outside here. Kota Ibushi comes in trying to even things out, but no. Naito's actually going to send both members of the Golden Lovers. Preparing to dive on the outside. Oh! 
And he absolutely, that is right there, ladies and gentlemen. Tetsuya Naito, at his finest, debated. <laughs> I had to go for it again. I had to go for it again. So fitting. Oh, as the Golden Lovers finally make their way back into the ring, countered immediately upon entering. Now the Golden Lovers in a really bad spot, though. Naito sent to the ropes. Both jump up. Oh, gets a kick to the face. Omega slamming him down to the ground. But here comes Takahashi. Try and come back into this one here. But the drop kick from Kota Ibushi is going to send Takahashi and Naito outside here. And that's Kota Ibushi's territory, bro. Oh, you don't want to see. When Kota starts climbing things, mm -hmm. I'm just glad there's no sort of walls close to the ring. Nothing that he can really get to. Oh, oh the, the cross, cross slash. slash. Oh, and the cross. No, wait a minute. They managed to make the reversal happen, bringing them both down to the apron. The neck breakers. The Golden Lovers Ooh. in a horrible position. The hardest and, oh. part of the ring. That hurts. Devastating. Cro Devastating impact. Yeah, cross slash. Usually the triangle moonsaults to the outside, interrupted and scouted by Los Angobernables. It's very interesting to see uh, how Kenny and Kota work together. Of course, whilst we all know what great friends they are and how often they train together, it's a rarity that we get to see them in competition as a tag team. How many times have they they tagged together, like just on their own? Uh, Obviously against handful the, of times. the Young Bucks. Yeah, a handful of and times there were a number, a number of missteps in that match against uh -oh. the Young Bucks, of course. Yeah. Uh-oh, Kenny Beach. Omega. What is he looking for here? Naito trying to reverse it. Takahashi comes in for the support, though, and now they're just going to start to beat down the IWGP heavyweight champion. Oh. Maybe we're going to go for a suplex on the ramp. Oh, no, this is not good at all. Where's Kota Ibushi here? He's up, and oh, oh, my word! Right in front of us here on the ramp. I felt that in my bones. Great double-team maneuver. Kenny had too much energy to really get suplexed by one person, but Takahashi coming over sealed the deal and slammed him onto the ramp. And I really feel that's going to be um, the most effective way uh, for Naito and Hiromu to get anything out of this match. They need to pair up. They need to put odds in their favor. Of course, they're already down slightly with Hiromu being a light heavyweight, uh, a junior heavyweight, as opposed to, to Kenny and Kota. Um, yeah, both formerly junior heavyweights. Kenny looking a oh, He is in lean. pain. Kenny Omega in pain of at course, this point in time. suffering after that war that he had with Okada, he must still be carrying a few knocks from that. Yeah, two out of three falls over an hour is nothing you're going to heal from quickly. Safe to say that matchup was an epic. So for him, the greatest matchup of all time, officially. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. But the punishment continues for Kenny Omega as Naito forces Kenny in a really bad spot. Kota Ibushi on the side. They were able to knock him out of the action long enough to be able to put the, the champ in a really tough spot. But here we go once again. And look at that coordination coming from Takahashi and Naito. And again, you're seeing that double team. They're trying to leverage the odds in their favor. I think if it just goes through a wall, you know Kenny, his oh. conditioning, his stamina. One, two. That's going to be a two count there. Kenny Omega able to kick out. It's going to take a lot more than that to take out the champion. I don't think Los Ingobernables are going to win a war of attrition against these two. It's going to take. It's, a, it's going to come down to a slugfest. There's no other choice. Continuous chops from Hiromu. Only to tag Naito back in. Conservation of energy here from Los Ingobernables. See if Naito continues to work the back of Kenny after doing the suplex on the ramp. Kind of shied away from that strategy now. Naito asking for the punches, but Omega so winded. Oh! Right for the eyes. Right for the eyes. Naito not playing around here at Daytona. Referee not doing his job there. This is exactly what Naito Takahashi wanted. And oh, and the kick. Oh! Yeah. Double boots. The trip to the boots to the face. And Kota Ibushi can only look on as his tag team partner. One half of the Golden Lovers, Kenny Omega. 
takes a beating. But Omega still managing to get at least some kind of offense, and even if it's with uh, spaghetti arms at this point in time. Kenny's got that Deadpool-like durability where it doesn't matter how badly you beat up on him, that conditioning comes into play. Ooh. Beautiful. Very reminiscent of Rocky, you know, Absolutely. just taking the punishment. Kick to the back of the head there for Kenny Omega. Definitely continues to knock out the win for the champion. Ooh. Naito disrespecting him as well, man. They're just... The bad blood between these two. It almost, you, you wouldn't imagine that Naito has to worry about Jericho. Kenny Omega, though, managing to fight back after being disrespected by Naito, gets that chop right in. And you heard that everyone here at the Ocean Center felt that as well. Omega looking to get right back into this one. Can Naito, though, well, he seems like he's going to be able to make that reversal happen. Omega's going to answer in turn. And Omega comes right back into this one here. Nicely done from Naito once again establishing control. Takahashi's going to hold him down, but Omega managing to fight his way out of this one as best he possibly can. Flips right over, goes to Kota Ibushi. Now it's time to fly as Ibushi makes his way to the ring, and this is going to be that hot tag that the Golden Lovers needed to get back into this one. No. Naito slows it down with the form to the face, and now they're going to exchange blows. That's a fresh Ibushi. I don't know if Naito is picking his uh, best fights. Well, he definitely can't match up with Ibushi's athleticism. Look how quick he Look is. All the, oh, the strikes. The strikes from Kota Ibushi and Naito right to the chest. Whip crack kick and a standing moonsault. Picture perfect standing moonsault as well. Kick out from Naito. <laughs> Recognizing he had to just get out of that one. Get out of dodge yeah. as soon as he possibly could. Smart. But it will he be the Golden Lovers that retain control for the time being, gentlemen. And this has been there is quite no the matchup. There is no escape from Kota Ibushi, though. It doesn't matter how far out the ring you are. He will find a way. Cross slash. Cross Ooh. slash! Oh, my! Beautiful execution. Flawless. The timing. Yeah, don't shake the hands of these filthy FGC members. You'll catch all kinds of diseases. It's almost as if you're a part of this community, Logan. No, I'm just here to commentate Street Fighter. What diseases you got, Logan? <laughs> Me? No, I got the old killer squades. last He's time. got squades. Mm. It's, a, it's a hell of a disease, man. <laughs> Can you make I was surprised as well, but yeah, it came back all clear. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up the wreckage from the outside. Well, you were talking about those Tinder dates. <laughs> so, man, what goes on tour stays on tour. The Golden Lovers now. Have control of this matchup. Naito's going to be in a really rough spot. What is this? This is the double team you can't escape. Oh, my goodness gracious. One more. No way. Oh, my goodness gracious. The double pin, too. But still, Naito, Naito. kicks out of both men pinning him down. And it was flawlessly executed as well. Kota Ibushi is stunned. He cannot believe that Naito was able to get out of that amazing sequence there from the Golden Lovers. Yeah, you can see those hours and hours put in, in that private training facility that, you know, Kenny and Kota lock themselves away and working on these. Okay, here we go. Setting up for the Golden Trigger, but Takahashi able to bring Omega out of the ring. I was wondering when Takahashi was going to become a factor in this matchup. Kota Ibushi tries to go for it himself with Naito. Able to get the kick to the side of the head there. Oh, oh my God. And he's in the corner on Dream Street. Kenny on the outside. But Naito has very, very little left in him after taking that. Yeah, the You Can't Escape, the double team You Can't Escape. Formerly, Does that have an official name? It is the You Can't Escape. It's like, because you know how he did it as a singles wrestler. He just added some Kota Ibushi flavor to it. I don't know if it just had a, had a new name. You learn something new every day. And... Kota Ibushi learned that a kick to the face there from Takahashi definitely hurts. But he's going to have to kick out of that one. That will be a two count. Kota Ibushi, though, a little rattled here. This Takahashi has kind of been lingering on the side as Naito has taken a substantial amount of damage. And over to the ropes he goes. Takahashi moving in. And oh, <laughs> nice kick there. It's going to prompt Kota Ibushi to go up. But Ibushi on the response. Oh. And the power bomb bringing him down the pin. And it's going to be a two count. Oh, my word. That was so close. Great roll up as well. The pin 
all of the leverage, all of his weight going through the shoulders. Incredibly difficult for Kota to kick out, but he shows you his strength, his core strength, conditioning there, still able to get out of that pinning predicament. Incredible stuff. Yeah, from a dead stop, he gets the jumping her Karana after Hiromu tried to ram him into the turnbuckle. Thunderous, thunderous crowd here in the arena, knowing they're seeing four of the very greatest wrestlers Here comes in Naito. the world. Naito able to stop this one, and he's having none of that. Kota Ibushi playing the numbers game. Try again. again. Listen, Naito, you can say what you want about his work ethic and his approach, but he is an incredibly intelligent man. He had a wherewithal to charge right over to the Golden Lover's corner. But Kota Ibushi, oh, oh my goodness! Double Pele kick. The double Pele? He's going to shake things up here. And look at that. Kenny, Kenny Omega going to check on his buddy. Going straight to Kota. He's not looking to take advantage of that Pele kick. He cares more about his friend. But he did say that is what has got me to the top. Yeah, he was unable to capture the IWGP Heavyweight Championship until he reunited with his best friend, Kota Ibushi. What's he going for here? Is that like a, oh. a Meltzer driver almost? Takahashi. Oh, outside. that's it. Flip to the outside. Oh, oh, oh damn. Kota Ibushi right to the back of the neck. That looked absolutely dreadful. Dreadful fall from Kota Ibushi. The sunset bomb by Hiromu Takahashi. His signature move never delivered that devastating. Oh. I think that might be it. That might be all she wrote. And oh, oh Kota Ibushi. How did he kick out? Actually managing to survive after the sunset I'm amazed bomb. he can still feel his legs after taking that, let alone kick out. That was... that. I mean, he, he hit him with the sunset and then hits him with the time bomb, I believe. Like Kota's it. still in this matchup. Kenny, though, is able to respond back. Oh, oh snap my. dragon. The, the snappiest of dragons. Another the opportunity. Oh, no. That is not good. Things are no. starting to really heat up in the middle of the ring. The Destino comes in from Naito. Kota Bushido back on his feet from the German. Runs straight into a boot. And a lariat oh. from Kota Ibushi. My goodness. And the, all four competitors are just winded. And but they're leaving it all out there in the ring for the folks here at CEO. And Kenny's lucky he was on the receiving end of a tornado DDT variation rather than the Stino because You're he right, it was Yeah, if he was I on the receiving end. I got carried away, man. I'm new to this. It's all right, man. If he was on the receiving end of the Destino, I don't think he would be even be moving right now. Yeah, exactly. Very close, though. Could have very well have been a Destino if he wasn't careful. But now it will be Takahashi, the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion in the middle of the ring with the Golden Star, Kota Ibushi. Ooh. Exchanging blows right at the center of the ring in front of this packed crowd. And it seems like, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like both of these guys are just enjoying it. Oh, these yeah. guys are both crazy. Exactly. In they, different ways. They absolutely they love punishment. Both absolute lunatics when it comes to in-ring performance. Does Takahashi have it in him to deliver back? Yes, he does. The right hand, right forearm, as a matter of fact, right to the face. But Kota Bushi, and that is just actually going to make his legs a bunch of noodles. Hiromu trying to stay on his feet by any means necessary, looking up into the eyes of Kota. Able to get one in there, but Takahashi, I don't know how long he can take this punishment, as well as Kota Ibushi. I mean, let's not forget that he took that that sunset bomb outside and I can't believe he's still wrestling yeah, after he, that. He's still alive. Oh! Kick right to the midsection and another kick following up right to the side of the head and both of them down again. And this is where you start to see who has it in them, who has what it takes to be able to win. Kota Ibushi needs to get to Kenny Omega. And there you have it. The IWGP heavyweight champion making his way to the ring. And he's got to psych himself up. Takahashi's in a bad spot. And can Omega make it happen? Scoops him up. And holds Ushigoroshi. him up there. Oh, oh what? Delayed Ushigoroshi. Too good. Held him up there. The blood rush into his head. Drops him across his neck on the knee. 
Oh, setting up for the V trigger now. The crowd feeling it. V trigger, oh. oh my goodness gracious. He put extra hot sauce on that V trigger. Indeed, he did. Going up for the one winged angel. He's got him. No! Oh. Takahashi manages to reverse it. Kenny Omega, he's not sure what just happened here, but oh. goes back for another knee right to the face. Takahashi reeling after that one. Naito, center of the ring. Oh, oh my oh. word! Assisted German suplex. He's not moving. The official needs to check. What is that? The assisted home oh, German suplex off the power bomb from Kenny Omega. So much force he's coming down on the back. He's not moving. Oh, oh my goodness. The PK Kokoro. One, two, three. Oh, oh no, he kicks out. They can't believe it. What is it going to take to put away Takahashi and Naito here? That is one of the signatures of the Golden Lovers, the PK Kokoro. He was able to kick out of it. Looks like they're signaling for the Golden Trigger now. I mean, regardless of what happens now, you have to give credit to Hiroma for taking all this punishment and still kicking out. Oh. Golden Trigger and Takahashi. It, it's got to be. Two, three. And there you have it. The Golden Lovers are victorious here in Daytona. But that was a war that we just witnessed. Yeah, I can't imagine Kota Ibushi is going to stop filling that sunset bomb to the outside anytime soon. No. No. I still feel it, and it didn't even happen to me. That assisted German. Yeah, on that as well. That was a ridiculous. Takahashi took all kinds of punishment. These guys put each other through a war for nothing more than pride in the entertainment of these people here today at CEO. An incredible display by both the Golden Lovers and Los Angobernales de Japón, but Kota Ibushi and the IWGP Heavyweight Champion get their hands raised at the end. Incredible stuff here. A standing ovation, and rightly so, for some of, as we said earlier, four of the very best wrestlers in the world. Kenny and Ibushi there, posing. And this is just such a dynamic team. But for Kenny Omega, that's what it's all about right there. And that's going to be a really reassuring performance for them as a tag team. They look a lot smoother. There was almost no missteps. Yep, yep, that yep. cross slash was beautiful. Yeah, but the first time they weren't able to get it off. The second time, picture perfect. The synchronicity was like an Olympic synchronized swimming team. Perfect execution. But let's not forget the first time they tried to go for the cross slash, they were red. Yeah. If you're if you're the Golden Lovers, you have to be concerned that a lot of these teams that you're going up against, they know what you're going to be bringing to the table. Naito and Takahashi, they were able to scout that one out. So for the Golden Lovers, while they were victorious tonight, it definitely was a very 